guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to tell you a wee salmon fly. Aye. This is one that has worked for me in the past. Aye. Uni thread, 801 red, and I lost two fish on it um, this past weekend. So, a couple of turns of thread onto the hook there. Give yourself a foundation to tie on. The tag and the rib is going to be a hot yellow ultra wire. This piece and another piece on the desk that we'll get the rib out of. So we'll just tie this on, just working our thread down, tender somewhere near the points of the hooks or something like that. Doesn't need to be precise. And then I'm looking five turns of the wire to create the tag. And just work our thread forward. Just keep this in underneath. Right, I'll not get the rib out of it, so I'm going to have to bend and bring that out away. Get the other bit, so I'm going to ask. We'll tie this in on the way down. Usually we just break a bit off there, guys, it's long enough, and just fold it back on itself, and that will just double up for you. Now the tail, this is just some orange. Sunburst will stag to the orange side of the sunburst fox. Just a wee bit off here. I'm looking this to be twice the length of the hook over the back. Now, and everybody likes long tails on salmon fly, so if you like it shorter, you just make your tail a wee bit shorter. Trim that away. We add some flesh into the tail, and this is uh, two strands of micro flesh and orange. Sort of, I started using the micro stuff more than the normal sort of way crinkle flesh, just less bulk. Trim that, just moisten that for the the wing, just caught on my button holder there, just need like a wax onto the thread and then just work your thread forward, just tan down your cut ends. Now it's a colour combination that you'll, you'll not go wrong with here, especially for PD water. And work our thread back down. Just as you're coming down, I just take hold of my tail just sort of wake him down onto it. Right, just get the flies to sit on the tail for me. Then the first part of the body, some Chinese red floss. It's going to be half the length or so. Now the two fish that I lost, I lost them on the top dropper. And I tied them in my own size 12s. Recently, just got a wee bit of water there, so I'll fish these on the point. Hopefully, tomorrow they'll do nicely, and then come around with a couple of turns. It's not happy with that flash. On me, just kinking up. Then the first, sorry, the front part of the body is Popo Mirage tinsel. Just had to locate it there. So we length this off. Just catch it with the third and then just pull it into length. And you just leave yourself plenty of room up here. There's two parts of the wing. A haggle and a jungle cock. So let's come around. Just have a wee check. Just to see where you are. Happy with that. And then just work the open mirage forward. Trim that away. Just bring up a rib. You're going four turns of the wire. Body. 
い。towards the the yellow more yellow dye in it so a couple of nice tight turns catch in our fox come in and trim away the waste then you're looking a nice fluorescent red to show you this I dyed this myself it's nice bright fluorescent red color and red to be honest, it's a great colour, a salmon fly, particularly, like I say, for peaty water. Now, I want this slightly longer than the underwing. It's nice and tight. And then come in and clip this away. It's just as tight as you can get it. We like a wax onto the thread and just bring this down nice and tight over the, the cut ends. And there's the dog has started. Then we're going to go back to our micro flash that we use for the tail. Just offer this up into the wing. Just fold that back. Nice and tight. I don't want the longer pieces, so just come in and trim those away. So we're starting to look at the business. You can see the colour that you get and you know you know yourself, you face yourself in the haggle. Just we're gonna lay a swing. Just get a nice haggle here. Now the lace wing is the the hen bird. So if you've got any bods or haggles, this is the the hen bird. And just break away the tip. And just come in with your scissors. Stroke your fibers back. Now I'm probably looking roughly about two turns of this. This will darken it down for me at the front. Catch this in. A couple of nice tight turns. Then you can come in and trim away the stem of the haggle. We like a wax. And just bring everything back. It wants to go forward of the eye. And just nice tight turns at this point. We favor there. Sweep it back. Then just to finish off two jungle cock eyes. I would probably put smaller eyes on this fly. It's just that this is all I've got at the minute. Uh, we had a few keeps coming, so just come in, just get them sitting where you like, just catch them in. All right, that won't split, so back off we come, get that one on the bin, back up to the cape, get ourselves another. Don't go cock eye. Let's get that sorted out. And just get them laying back up again. Just the best you can. And just offer them up to the hook. No good putting them on when they're when they're split guys, you may as well just throw them out. 
no point in putting them on when they're splitting like that, you know. So just checking the length. Checking the length of the outside. Yep. I'm happy with that. So just come in and hold the two jungle cock eyes now. Just tighten up. As tight as you can get your thread at this point. Nice and tight. And you're looking at a nice red head on the fly. Don't be shy with the head. I may be able to keep my thread tight and break these off. Nope, that one didn't want to break. Because you're tying up onto the, the white part. That's where the smaller eye would come in. A wee bit more hold here. thread tight. Just come straight in with your whip finishing tool. Just to put that shape under the head. Put your thread tight and then come in and trim away your tying thread. First coat under the head. You drop a super glue. This will just seal all the thread turns up for you. Or you could use the UV resins really up to yourself. Super glue gives you a far nicer finish to the head on a fly. And, and I just like to come in with my, my needle and just take away any excess glue that may be coming down. So there you go guys, that's it. Sorry I took a wee bit longer tonight just with that jungle cock breaking but <coughs> that's a good wee fly it's one of my own dressings it's worked well for me um, over the years so hopefully this can tie a few up like I say it's the colour combinations you'd want to see in a fly for PD water but is my view anyway so hopefully you can tie a few of those up and uh, Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. Greatly appreciate it. Um, and until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.